Welcome to our podcast, where we cover interesting and fascinating stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss ISRO's NVS-02 stuck in orbit, survival unsure. Indian Space Agency, ISRO's NVS-02 satellite that is meant to serve strategic purposes, remains stuck in its initial orbit, and it has not been possible to move it to its intended orbit, ISRO said. Satellites have to be placed in their precise orbital slots to perform their designated role. Satellites are moved from one orbit to another by firing their liquid-fueled engines that burn a fuel and oxidizer combination. In this case, it has not been possible to fire the engine and raise the satellite's orbit due to an issue with the valve that releases the oxidizer. The 2250 kilogram NVS-02 satellite was launched by a GSLV MK2 rocket on January 29 in what was ISRO's 100th rocket launch mission from the country's premier Sriharikota spaceport. The satellite was launched into a geostationary transfer orbit, which is usually used as an initial parking orbit for heavy satellites. Approximately, the satellite was launched into an orbit that is highly elliptical, 170 kilometers above Earth at its nearest approach and 36,500 kilometers at its farthest approach from Earth. Typically, a series of engine firings are performed to place the satellite into a circular orbit, where it is approximately 35,700 km above Earth. ISRO has stated that the satellite systems are healthy, elaborating that it is generating power from its solar panels and communicating with the stations on Earth. Alternate mission strategies for utilizing the satellite for navigation in an elliptical orbit is being worked out, it was added. However, it must be noted that GTO is not a perfectly stable orbit and is meant to be only a temporary parking slot before moving the satellite into a higher orbit. At the perigee, when the satellite is barely 170 kilometers above Earth, it experiences considerable amounts of drag, which gradually pulls the satellite closer to Earth. The prolonged impact of drag could eventually pull the satellite and make it re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, causing it to burn up. The closer the satellite is to Earth, the higher the risk of drag and eventual destruction, especially when the primary engines of the satellite aren't able to steer it away from Earth. ISRO has not revealed whether some of the smaller thrusters on the satellite, known as attitude control systems, are working. In case they are working, it could theoretically be possible to considerably extend the life of the satellite by moving it further from Earth, as ISRO had demonstrated in a past mission that faced a similar setback. Navigation with Indian Constellation is India's independent regional navigation satellite system designed to provide accurate position, velocity, and timing service to users in India and its vicinity. Simply put, it is a service similar to the American GPS, the Russian GLON ASS, or Chinese Beidou. While the aforementioned foreign services are available globally, the Indian Navic is only available in the Indian mainland and 1,500 kilometers beyond. NVS series satellites are meant to augment the existing Navic services that are provided by an earlier generation of satellites. NVS-02 is the second in the series of five satellites of this class. NVS-01 was launched into orbit in 2023. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.